So in the series of learning Python programming language, till now we have discussed some control statements like what is if, what is if else and again coding exercise for that program to find out whether a number is even or odd, simple one, right? So now few more conditional statements are nested if, nested if else, elif statements, right? So these things we'll be discussing in this video with the help of program, with the help of real life example, the syntax, flowchart and everything about nested if, nested if else and elif statements we'll be discussing in this video, right? First of all, see what is nested if? Nested if means if inside if, that is nested if, something like this. If I write what is the syntax if, then we write condition and colon, right? Then if block statements, simple if, right? So if I write something like this, like if condition I am taking, suppose this is condition 1, right? And here I am writing suppose statement 1 and inside this if again I am taking one more if and this time condition 2 and within this if we have some statements like we can say statement 2 or block of statements can be there. So this if is within this if. So if inside if this is known as nested if right. There can be multiple nested if any number of nested if is possible within this if we can also write one more if if condition 3 within this we can also write if condition 4 like this this is level of nesting but one thing which is very important in python is what the indentation the indentation will identify the level of nesting see these statements are what within this if this statement is the, these statements are within this if because of this indentation we can find out we can identify right the level of nesting so the indentation is very important whenever you are working in python right so this simple example like real life example also when if your mom asks like whether you are going to a supermarket like if go to supermarket maybe you will say yes so this condition is true then another order is what if like if apples are available buy apples so if apples are available buy apples means this condition should be true to enter within this block to check this condition if this condition is true then only we will enter here and this condition would be checked if this condition is true then we will enter here then statement 2 would be executed if this statement is false then we will not enter here we will not check the second condition if your mom asks whether you go to supermarket you will say no then obviously she will not say if apples are available buy apples and all right no means yes out of this complete if right so this is nested if fine we will see this thing with the help of an example right practically also I will show you now ju you just see the syntax nested if else means what if the complete if else construct is within either this if or else block that is nested if else maybe it's confusing for you let me just show you with the help of example and syntax so what is nested if else the syntax of that is what simple if else is what if condition one then some block of statement if block statement then simply we write what else and else block statement right or we can say write do this or else block statement but within this if or within this else we write another if else that is nested if else so within this if we write another if else if condition 2 statement 2 else suppose statement 3 so this is what complete if else block if else construct if else so this complete is within this if so this is nested if else and in else we simply have suppose statement 4 or do this statement 4 this is example syntax of nested if another thing is what rather than within this if this complete block can be here also here we have only if condition 1 statement 1 then else statement 4 and complete this block that is also nested if else if this block can be here and here both within if also within else also that is also nested if else right 
but this complete if else construct should be within if or else that is nested if else right so for that let's take one example if uh, suppose you are going to an amusement park for a roller coaster ride right and there the condition is if you are more than 3 feet more than or equal to 3 feet you can ride right but now they will ask your age if your age is less than 18 less than or equal to 18 you will pay only 250 rupees or greater than 18 you will pay 500 rupees so how you will write down this thing see see something like this first of all uh, they will ask what is your height in feet I am taking note in centimeter so if height is greater than or equal to 3 means it will print you can ride but now on paying what amount you have need to pay on that also you need to put some condition so if age age is less than or equal to 18 you will pay 250 rupees so obviously you will ask they will ask from the user like what is your age so again we will take input right within this if we will take input age what is your age then on age we will check one more condition if age is less than equal to 18 so whatever you will write within this if that should be from here some indentation you need to provide like uh, print pay 250 rupees else pay 500 rupees right so this if else complete block is within that if right else see this else is for this if so you have to take care of this indentation right so else print if height is less than 3 means not greater than or equal to 3 you cannot write simply you cannot write and after this if else I am taking one more statement by something like this so this is what example of nested if else so if first one it will ask enter your height in feet so I am entering suppose 4 so this condition is true yes this condition is true then only we can enter here so it will print you can write now it will ask what is your age I am suppose entering 15 so again check the condition age less than equal to 18 yes condition is true less than 18 so pay 250 rupees you need to pay 250 rupees and that's it now after after printing this pay 250 rupees it will print it will be out of this if else complete if else and it will print buy because this statement is out of this if else block complete if else right if i enter height is two fit is this true no so at that time control will not enter in this if block this condition would not be checked they will not ask age because no need simply they they'll, it will go to the else part and it will print cannot write and buy right so this is example of nested if else but here we have only two condition we are checking only height and age that's it right but what if we have three choices what if i want to add one more condition if age is less than 12 then only 150 rupees if age is between 12 to 18 then 250 rupees if age is between age is greater than 18 then 500 rupees so we have three choices now on age so like at that time we should use elif else elif means else if more than two alternatives if you have then we use elif right to make the program more readable and all so how you can modify this program now that till now it would be same if age is less than equal to now less than 12 if age is less than 12 then please pay 150 rupees right after that we will check else if age is between 12 to 18 else if we, we need to write down right so we will use elif e l i f that is else if l l if age is what less than equal to 18 is less than equal to 18 means obviously this condition is for if less than 12 then here if greater than 12 but less than equal to 18 then here so no need to put is 
uh, like greater than 12 and logical and op operator and is less than equal to 18 this is also fine right now please pay 250 else if or rather than else if because we have only three choices so simple else is also there else obviously if not 12 not uh, not less than 12 not between 12 to 18 then you would be greater than 18 so for that simple else no need to put any condition like else if a is greater than 18 because by default a would be now then greater than 18 so else pay 500 rupees right so this is what if lf we can say if lf and else block right and in else simply cannot write so we have if more than one more than two alternative then we use elif now general syntax of elif let me just write down we'll see these programs on our laptop we'll, i'll show you the output this is general syntax of writing elif if then condition then statement one then elif condition two condition three many condition can be there so that we'll use in elif right and after that finally else with colon and else block statement and after this whatever you can write after this uh, if elif else block statements whatever you will write that would be executed after this thing right now i hope you can draw the flow chart of this elif or the notes i'll provide in the description box of this video you will find out there the flow chart first of all let you try out the flow chart of this thing right or I have also discussed this this thing the flowchart of elif while you are discussing an elif statement in C++ you can check out that video also now see for that the roller coaster ride for nested if else we have discussed uh, this kind of flowchart we can do like start then first of all check the height height is greater than equal to 3 feet two choices yes or no in case no simply print cannot write if yes then obviously we'll ask age yes before asking age we just print can write because we have printed can write and after that age now age we will ask if age is less than equal to 18 or greater than 18 if greater than 18 then what pay 500 rupees and less than equal to 18 then simply pay 250 rupees that's it that program you have discussed the flow chart of that thing right so this is what that if else block nested if else block And after this whatever you will write after those if else after these three th those statements would be executed right so now i have one question for you i am asking from user a number and if i enter one it should print one if i enter two it should print like two if i enter three it should print three if i enter four it should print four something like this these four cases so you will enter and we will Write something like this if we will check if number equal to equal to 1 then print 1 right one way is if again we check if number equal to equal to 2 one way is this we can put 4 if condition right answer would be right but this is not efficient if suppose I enter number is 1 if I enter 1 so it will ask it will check this condition 1 equal to 1 yes so it will print 1 but it will check this condition also because this is after this if so if number equal to 2 this condition is not true it will check this condition also not true this condition also not true then whatever you will uh, suppose i am entering after this by then it will print by but if the con this condition is true obviously no need to check the, these conditions so this is not efficient way to write program so for this thing we uh, write what else so we can write down if this number is this 
sorry, we have to put colon also, otherwise it will give error in Python, right? So we can write down here else, else if number is this, else if number is this, else if number is this or else any other thing. So rather than else if, because we have more than two choices here. So here we write elif. So here we can write elif number two this, elif this, elif number four this and after this simple else we can write down else print wrong input something like this and after this print by. So now at this point of time if you enter one so it will check this condition number equal to one equal to one yes condition true so it will print one and it will not not check this condition it will not check this condition it will not check this condition it will not check this condition because this if this condition is true so after that directly it will print by so obviously it will save your time execution time time complexity of this program right so these are some efficient way that is why we use this if else elif and these statements so let me just show you practical of these things. So let's create a new file nested if underscore else dot py and we will take what nested if first of all uh, let me just show you that nested if example uh, suppose I am taking a number a is equal to let's suppose 52 and we are checking if will not put this in condition in, the, in these brackets a modulo 2 equal to equal to 0 then print even because this is even number but again I will check if the number is even one more condition you need to check if this number is greater than uh, 30 ok here we need to put colon right then see automatically whenever we I enter here in this id that would be indented right this print because this print statement is within the, this if right so I will print number is greater than 30 great and after that simply I am going to print by out of this if so this is what nested if right let me just run this and I will show you see obviously number is 52 so this condition is true so first of all it will print even right and yes then we will check one more condition if it is greater than 30 yes that is also true so it will print number is greater than 30 great and then buy right if suppose number is 51 let me just run this but this time it will print only buy because this condition is not true so we will not check this condition although number is greater than 30 but we will not check this condition because this is if is within this if. So to check this condition this condition need to be true. So directly it will print by so this is nested if. Now nested if else let us take that example only that roller, uh, roller coaster ride. So see if height is greater than equal to 3 then can ride but now payment we will ask for payment we will ask age so we will input age here so we now put condition on age so see I am actually from that C++ C and Java background that is why I used to put condition in that brackets but it's okay we, you can put bracket also otherwise also fine if you don't put any bracket if age greater than less than equal to 18 then within this if we print is paid to 50 rupees and this else this else is for this if so that is why see the indentation this is here only else please pay 500 rupees right and okay now this if else is done so for this if we need to put one else so that we put here for this if cannot write right and after if else let's print y so now let's run this what is your height 2 simply it will print cannot write by 
it will not ask age. So let's run this again. What is your height? 5. Yes, you can write. Now what is your age? Age, suppose I am uh, 25. Okay. So please pay 500 rupees and then buy. 25 is because obviously this condition is not true. Age is not less than or equal to 18. So please pay 500 rupees and then buy. So this is nested if else. Right. So please take care of this indentation. Now next is elif. Suppose that age is what? Less than 12. What? Three condition I need to put less than 12. Then please pay only 150 rupees. Now else if. So rather than else if we write elif. Elif age now less than equal to 18. Then please pay 250 rupees. Right? Else, no need to put any condition because, sorry. Else, we simply print, please pay 500 rupees. Fine. Else can't, can't write. So, that is elif. So, here you can put many elif. If you have 4, 5, 6 condition, you can put elif, 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 something like this. Right? So, let's run this. What is your height? 5. Now, what is your age? Suppose I am 11. So, please pay 150 rupees only and buy. Let's run this again. What is your height? 5. And age is suppose uh, 13. So, it's greater than 12 but less than 18. So, it should print 250. 250 rupees. And we run this again. Height is 6. Age is suppose 34. So, please pay 500 rupees and buy. I hope you got this elif concept also. Now, try out these things. More when more elif write down in the program rather than within this if you can write down this within the else also or without nesting of this elif and all simply uh, that we have uh, written one program 1, 2, 3, 4 that program you need to write down at your own right. So, I hope you got what is nested if, what is nested if else, what is elif statements and why we use these statements right. Uh, so, now in the next video we will see one coding exercise. So, now it says next video till then bye bye take care.